Hi guys, it's Green Sweetwood here, and today guys, we are going to be editing a Ben and Holly episode, because I feel like it. So, yeah, it's just basically just out of context, so, I, you know I'm a comedic guy, so I can just make it funny, simple as that, so, yeah. Let's see what Ben and Holly do this time. And hopefully it's something not stupid. Okay, let's go. Let's make the edit. Disappear! Now, Daisy, I know that deep down you're good and you'd never make me disappear. Disappear! <laughs> ah, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. I hope Mrs. Fotheringill is all right. <gasps> all that's left of her is her shoes. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, where is Mrs. Fotheringill? Gone. All gone. Gone? My goodness. The twins are so wild and naughty. Where do they get it from? Grandpapa Thistle is here. There's your answer. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Grandpapa. <laughs> Hello, my dears. I was just passing and I asked myself, why don't I take my grandchildren for a day out? Hooray! Hang on, Dad. Where were you thinking of taking the children? I thought we'd visit a volcano. Um, I don't think climbing up a volcano is such a good idea. We're not going to climb up it. Oh, good. We're climbing down inside it. What? You can't take children into a volcano. It's too dangerous. Is it? All right, then. How about lion taking? No. What's wrong with a nice walk in the meadow? I bet the twins would like to go down a volcano. Yes, Grandpapa. The twins are in disgrace today. They have been very, very naughty. Ah, what have the little darlings done? They've only made their teacher disappear. Oh, that nice Mrs. Fotheringill. Gone. All gone. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent your teacher? Down. Down to the kitchen. Down, down. Down to the cellar. Very down. You know what? I think Daisy and Poppy have sent Mrs. Fotheringill to the centre of the earth. Centre of <laughs> We have to rescue her. Well, that's settled where we're going for our day out then. To the centre of the earth. Hi, you must be now. I saw the film of Journey to the Centre of the Earth. There were dinosaurs and lost tribes and everything. Dinosaurs? In the centre of the Earth? What nonsense. It's true. I saw it on the telly. How do we get to the centre of the Earth? We could just take the stairs. Stairs? Yes, there are secret stairs in the little castle that go down, down, down. Ooh. The stairs start from a secret entrance in the kitchen. We just have to press this large button. Oh, I've always wondered what that button was for. I built these stairs when I built the little castle. I asked myself, why have stairs only to the cellar? Why not to the center of the earth? You're a bit crazy, aren't you? I'm not crazy. I'm completely bonkers. Look, there's some writing on the wall. It's runic writing written by dwarves. What does it say? Nanny, can you translate it? Hmm. Except Bro, I want to get 63 cheeseburgers. Not gonna lie, it's bussin'. You know that shit good. When you high on blue Gatorade. No, I made that bit up. But there will be dinosaurs. You'll see. <sighs> Are we nearly there yet? No, Holly. We have to go past the roots of the plants, the drains, the giant spider caves. It's a long way to the center of the Earth. So how many steps do we have to go down? 48 million trillion thousand. Oh, no. My feet are tired already. That's why I got the dwarves to put a lift in. Doors opening. 
Hold tight, everyone. The lift does go rather fast. Doors closing. Going down. Whoa! Center of the Earth. Doors opening. Here we are, the center of the Earth. It's a huge cave. It's full of trees and giant mushrooms. Yep, that's how it was on telly. Well, one thing that's not here, dinosaurs. <laughs> There's one. Oh. See? The telly is always right. But now that we're here, how do we find Mrs Fotheringill? Gaston can sniff Mrs Fotheringill's shoes and find her. Brilliant, Ben. <laughs> find Mrs Fotheringill. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> I wonder where we'll find the lost tribe. Lost tribe? What nonsense. Whoa! Look at that! A lost tribe! Told you! They're elves and fairies, just like us! Halt! Who journeys through our land? We come from the surface of the mighty Earth. We welcome you, surface dwellers. We thank you, O oh Lord of the Underground. Nanny, why are they speaking in that funny way? That's how they speak on telly. We bid you greetings. Uh, actually, we've come to get Mrs Fotheringill. Ah, the one we call Teacher. Yes, that'll be her. Good morning, children. My name is Mrs Fotheringill. Hello, Mrs Fotheringill. Oh, hello, everybody. We're here to rescue you. And we've brought your shoes. Oh, my shoes. It's good to have them back. It's been very nice and peaceful down here. A bit like a holiday. But I will be glad to be back in my own little home. Father Gil! Father Gil! Yeah! Daisy! Poppy! Uh, on the other hand, I think I'll stay here. Young lady, do you want to be rescued or not? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I'll make it easy for you. Yes? As queen, I command you to come back. Oh, well, in that case... Right, mission accomplished. Let's go home. Back to the lift, everyone. Oh, no. Not that horrid lift again. My poor tummy. There is another way up. We can go by balloon. <laughs> Just need a basket. Abracadabra. All aboard. Goodbye, people of the underground. We bid you farewell, surface dwellers. See ya. Ah, floating gently up in a balloon sounds lovely and relaxing. It certainly will be lovely and relaxing. If you can call hurtling through a volcano relaxing. Volcano? Of course. The volcano will take us straight up to the surface. Dad, I said no volcanoes. Oh, we'll be fine. As long as the volcano doesn't erupt. Whoops, seems to be erupting. Ah, oh, well, here we go. Next stop, the little castle. Now, Daisy and Poppy, say sorry to Mrs. Fotheringill for causing her so much trouble. Sorry! And do you promise to be good next time I teach you? We promise. Oh, they are sweet, really, aren't they? She never learns. She's doomed. <laughs> Today's adventure.